Hello all, welcome to Indian Polity Lecture Series. This lecture series is totally going to be useful for UPSC as well as State Civil Service aspirants. And the disclaimer is, this video series is entirely going to be in English. It is not going to be in Hindi or any other vernacular language. So that it will be useful for everyone. And also this video series is for anyone who want to start from the basics. Okay, if you if you do not know where to start from, you can follow this lecture series because, uh, for example, if I if I am going to cover Lakshmi Khan chapter one, I am not going to cover the chapter one in entire single video for half an hour and bore you. I am going to make a video of five to ten minutes, so that I will cover every lesson through ten videos or uh, more than that. Uh, okay, uh, let's get into the video without any further delay. First, historical background. Even though India got its independence and its own constitution, we had our own influence on British because British came to India as trading partner, right? They came to India for trading purpose. Their trading rights was given by Queen Elizabeth. Only because of this trading right, British came to India and started trading. So they were just trading. Then how come they started ruling us? It's because of the Diwani rights given in 1765. Only because of Diwani rights, they got like uh, they gradually became a territorial power. First of all, Diwani rights was given in the areas of Bengal, Bihar, and in Orissa. These were the places where Diwani rights were given, and gradually they became territorial power and they started ruling us for hundreds of years. But through our revolutionary leaders and our uh, satyagrahis we got independence so first of all sipai mutiny was the one which made the british shake and uh, the british crown came into existence british government actually took direct control or uh, they directly interfered in india's affairs yes british east india's affairs on india so after this, we got independence and we got our own constitution. Okay. And constituent assembly was formed by Yemen Roy. Like it was formed even before independence. He was a great communist leader. Okay. Our constitution came into its being in Jan 26 and 1950. This is the date where uh, Indian constitution came into being. Even though India got its own constitution, as I said, it had its it has its roots from Britain because British ruled us for many years and see, like after British crown, like after British crown took the control, they made many regulations, acts and regulations which had impact on India's constitution. So in the next lectures we are going to see various acts and regulations passed by British government. In this video we, we haven't dealt anything in detail but we have just seen whatever the historical background that uh, like uh, it was the introductory video for the historical background. So British came to India as traders then got territorial power but Sipai mutiny took place and British crown came. So this modified the administrative uh, procedures that were uh, like followed by the British East India Company. So the rules and regulations that this British crown made had a huge impact on Indian constitution. So that is what we are going to see in the next lectures. Like uh, next video lecture is going to be on regulating act. See you in the next video.